Our speaker this morning is MK Barnhart. MK is a four-year boarding student from Rehoboth Beach, Delaware. She's a captain of the varsity girls cross country and track teams and a manager of the varsity girls ice hockey team. She's also the proud four-year roommate of Annika Palmer, MK. How do you show your true emotions? How do you express how you're feeling? Do you talk to a close friend or cry it out? I feel as though a lot of times here at Hill, we keep things in until we reach our breaking point. A culmination of feelings that comes down to a moment. A moment where we lash out, act out, break down. A moment where we are not ourselves. Emotion works in different ways for different people. I struggle to communicate how I'm feeling. On the outside, I'm a happy, bubbly person who loves to meet new people and see new things. It fills my cup. But the way I express myself does not manifest itself in a scream or a cry, but through dance. Dance goes beyond the surface level. It is complex, yet delicate, graceful, yet strong. It has defined the way I perceive my world. I have grown up performing on the stage, putting on my best smile, and continuing to dance, no matter the circumstance. Through the highs and lows, it has become integral to my identity and my life. My entire childhood, I spent my summers with my friends and family at the beach, swimming, surfing, and biking all around town. A bustling city was a pretty stark change for me as I was flying solo for the first time. No friends or family by my side. I auditioned for the summer intensive program at the Rock School for Dance Education, one of the most prestigious dance organizations in the country. My day consisted of eight hours of dance with a small lunch break. Coming from a small studio, neither me nor my teacher dreamed that I would attend. And yet, I received my acceptance and set out for Philadelphia. As I approached the looming building, I told myself to breathe, climbing to the fourth floor as I followed the crowd into the main studio. I noticed a piano in the corner as I felt the spring-loaded floors beneath me. I vividly remember entering with tears in my eyes, nervous for what was to come. To this day, I follow that same pattern. I obsess over things far out of my control and allow them to consume me. The week of the summer intensive continued and I found myself in a ballet class with a teacher who was far from welcoming. The only memory I have from that class was leaving the studio at the end of the day with tears in my eyes once more. She was incredibly harsh. She treated me as if I could never be a ballerina, as if I could never reach my fullest potential. People always talk about the intensity of the ballet industry. Looking back, I never believed it until I experienced it. This was the first time that I saw life for what it truly is, a combination of the good, the bad, and the ugly. Ballerinas are meant to be perfect. That is the entire goal of ballet, the pursuit of perfection. Perfect pirouettes, perfect turnout, a way to grace the audience with your perfect performance and a standing ovation. Picturing ballerinas on stage, they all have the same features and move in unison, aligned to perfection, no pressure. When I finally saw my mom there to pick me up at the end of the day, she told me to leave the negative feedback and experience behind, to move on and find the good. This phrase continues to echo in my life to this day. To me, that day in the studio was the worst day of my time at Rock. I dug myself into a hole of self-doubt. And yet, something that felt initially degrading and disappointing ended up being okay. The dust settled. I went back the next day with a positive outlook, ready to tackle the task in front of me. Seeking out the small, seemingly insignificant, yet formative moments propels me forward. Obsessing over what the future holds and harping on bad moments holds you back. Move on, focus on the good, and control what is in reach. 
I came to Hill as a wide-eyed third former. I had gone to the same school my entire life. I was comfortable. Entering a stage with a completely new audience was simultaneously exhilarating and terrifying. There were moments where I felt prepared, that this was the place for me, but also moments where I felt like I forgot my steps, like I was standing on stage alone while the audience stared back at me. I felt lonely for the first time in my life, thinking there was no one in my corner, when really my audience was not there to judge me, but to support me, to carry me. By letting people in, I did not have to stand alone. I could stand alongside my friends, my mentors, my family, as we supported each other. This is what Hill is all about. Without discomfort, I wouldn't have seen all the joy hiding in plain sight. By leaning into these foreign emotions, we can see that they aren't all that bad. They show us that good exists and allow us to create long-lasting bonds and memories with the people who matter most. As my sixth form year draws to a close, I know that I do not have to be perfect. I envisioned my four years to go completely different, and that's okay. I thought that I had to be a prefect to be a leader. I thought that I had to win awards to gain respect. I thought I had to change myself to succeed. I now know that success does not lie in a title, a plaque, or a trophy. We define it through ourselves, for ourselves through the content of our character and how we treat others. I do not have perfect grades, a perfect SAT score, or a perfect life. I find the value of my life in its imperfection. The lowest moments of my four years at Hill have helped me to appreciate the best ones. I remember jumping in the pool for my swim test. I remember sunburning on the pitch. I remember peering under the curtain ahead of my first Hill recital and all that followed. I remember swaying around the bonfire with my best friends as we realized our time here was short. I remember dancing around last year's graduation tent, thinking ours was so far away. Even though I'm alone on this stage, there are dozens of people in this room who have brought me to this moment. Without their encouragement, friendship, and unwavering support, my Hill experience would not be anywhere near as special. It is in my times with these people I have lived the phrase, find the good. These people are the good. This place is the good. Each and every one of you is the good. I urge you all to not see your time at Hill as four long years, but instead as a beautiful series of small moments that makes goodbyes so hard. In a few months, I will dance my final dance on this stage, marking the end of a transformative chapter. My four-year-long dance will reach its final curtain call. I have grown up on this stage. I have challenged myself on this stage, but most importantly, I have found myself on this stage. Life is not a solo performance, and I'm so proud to dance it with the best people by my side. Thank you.